My name is Arnav Kapoor and I'm an inventor in the Lemelson MIT student prize competition. If you look at the history of personal computing, we've always had a dualistic relationship with computers. We always treat them as external devices, desktops, smartphones, and even artificial intelligence tools. What if we could flip this paradigm and take a more synergetic approach, where computing and AI function more as an extension of the human experience? To that end, I led the development of Alter Ego, a wearable interface and a novel architecture to silently communicate with computers and people in real time. Traditional approaches to silent communication either rely on invasive strategies, cumbersome setups, or rely on physical face movements, which reduces their usability for everyday use, while still falling short of enabling real-time silent communication. I wanted to build an interface that not only augments our abilities, but that also has ethical considerations baked into the design and does not invade human privacy. Instead of reading from the brain directly, the system measures downstream signal from the speech system when an internal speech muscle is neurologically and volitionally engaged. A combination of sensor hardware and algorithms is able to isolate these subtle electrical signals sourced internally and translate into language in real time without an observable action. The speech system is treated like a combination of extremely tiny batteries and subtle changes in the electrical field are isolated. Audio and sensory feedback to the user is provided through bone conduction. It's 39 degrees and cloudy in Boston. The system has applications in many domains such as searching for information, human memory augmentation, and telecommunications, all done silently and internally. There are upwards of 7.5 million people in the United States alone who suffer from a speech impediment. Conditions such as stroke, ALS, and cerebral palsy. Alter Ego could help people with these conditions communicate with other people and give them a voice. It is my hope that such a system would truly augment our cognitive abilities like never before.